Now, it was famously known as Britain's wonkiest pub, but its owners have been ordered to rebuild it to just how it was before the suspected arson attack that destroyed it last year. South Staffordshire Council says it served an enforcement notice on the owners of the crooked house. They have 30 days to appeal and the notice must be complied with within three years. Well, our correspondent Navtesh Johal is at the side of the pub near Dudley. Ben, when this place was destroyed six months ago, it wasn't just a building that was raised to the ground, but a piece of history, a piece of the identity of the people who live around here. And as you say, the owners now have three years to rebuild it, and the campaigners who've worked so hard to get to this point say they'll do everything they can to make sure that happens. This was the moment that centuries of black country history went up in flames in a suspected arson attack. But there was worse to come. Less than 48 hours later, the crooked house, known as Britain's wonkiest inn... You just watch this. ..and a West Midlands landmark was demolished. It was taken from us, just, just ripped apart. One of those places you just thought it'd be here for the rest of our lives, and then suddenly it was gone. The public outcry over the fire and what the local authority has called an unauthorised demolition has barely died down in six months. <laughs> but today came the news many were hoping for. I just can't believe it, I just can't believe it. The owners of this much-loved pub have been ordered by South Staffordshire Council to rebuild it back to what it was before the fire. We're all just so elated and so excited and just so looking forward to what the future's going to bring. We've worked hard. We've kept this as, as much as possible in the news. We've kept on, kept the momentum going. Are you confident that the Crooked House will be restored to its former glory? I have always been confident, always said it must be. You've heard the way in which the public societies come together. Six people have been arrested and remain on conditional bail in connection with the fire here. But no one has been charged and investigations are still ongoing. But today could be the day that this place begins to rise again from the ashes. Naftej Johal, BBC News in Himley.